We got three new locations. We got the Fortilla, the Authority, the Caddy Corner. First we got Ocean who runs the Fortilla. She's got the Mythic Burst and the Bottomless Chug Dip. Next we got Jules who runs the Authority. She got the Mythic Drum Gun and the Grappler. Finally, we got Kit at Caddy Corner. Can I just say he's got the best built-in emo in the game? He's the Mythic Shockwave Launcher and the Mythic Charge Shotgun. Something else we got in the Battle Pass was this skin called the build Umbrella, which in my opinion is one of the coolest things we got this season. And with the new punch card system, getting XP was a breeze. We also got this new... vehicle? I don't know. The sharks were an alright addition. Next is the Marauders. I don't really think I need to say anything about these guys other than... Why Fortnite? Why? The new type of shotgun we got was called the Charge Shotgun, which is one of my all-time favorite shotguns we have. Another new weapon we got was the flare gun, which would mark enemies within a certain range. It also does 60 splash damage within a one tile radius. There was also the portable upgrade bench, but let's be real, did anybody actually use these things? I mean, minus the first day, of course. It's still a cool thing to have. Fireflies. They're trash. That's all I gotta say. Then we let Fortnite take our money for a while. And then we finally got the Atlantis- Ho hold on. Not Atlantis. Coral Castle. Huh. Who'd have thunk? And also Fortnite, really? No Aquaman boss? Then we got some space theme challenges, probably hinting at the next season. And then we got the best update by far. I'll just let the clips do the talking. Naked Banana. Some teasers involving Thor. <laughs> 